everyone. Welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. I'm Kay and I'm so glad you're here. It's late in the day. It's a uh, quarter of seven and it's the first time I've had to, all day to sit down and record. I've had little bits of time but not long enough to come up here and get set up. So the lighting is fairly terrible but it's the best I can do for tonight. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. We'll see. I don't think videos have uploaded for at least two days. Um, so I'm not sure when this is going to upload. I've literally had one trying to upload for 48 hours and it just, it's like halfway. So I don't know if it will or not. And if I get a chance, I will try to go somewhere and, you know, spend half an hour at the library and I think I'll get everything uploaded. But what are you going to do? All right, let's open some advents. We'll perk up a little bit. I'll start with this one. Day 22. Mmm, Irish breakfast tea. And, mmm, a dove chocolate. I could really use that. I think this might be a Miss Babs Old Gold. I think I made a baby sweater for somebody out of that one. I think that's the one. Oops, I'm just throwing stuff all over the place tonight. All right, bad habit wool. Is the one project I'm completely caught up on. Maybe I can get some spinning video. Relax for a little bit and spin for a little bit. Ooh, gosh, what a gorgeous purpley blue. That is just a beautiful color. Ugh. Oh. Okay, Bentley. Bentley's had a rough day. I'll tell you about it in just a little bit. He may not get his regular, you know what's tonight. Okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. And it just feels so good. Oh, what pretty colors. Um, all right, let's do chocolate. Day 22. This. And it says December 22nd, the winter hexagon. About three and one half hours after sunset, look eastward for a large six-sided shape formed by the brightest stars in six different constellations. This is known as the winter hexagon, also called the winter circle or the winter oval. This figure and the stars within its circumscribed region are some of the brightest in the night sky, easily among the top 20. Brightest of all is Sirius and Canis Major, the big dog, Clockwise along the hexagon from Sirius is Procyon in Canis Minor, the small dog, then Pollux in Gemini the Twins, Capella in Origa the Charioteer, Aldebaran in Taurus the Bull, and Rigel in Orion the Hunter. Within the winter hexagon is another simple shape called the Winter Triangle a perfect equilateral triangle formed by Sirius, Procyon, and the brightest star inside the hexagon, Betelgeuse, in the shoulder of Orion. So if I hold it up like this, I think you can see the different constellations. Big dog, small dog, uh, Gemini, the charioteer, Taurus, Orion. Is that all of them? Neat. I just think that's so fun. All right, let's see what it is. Miso Maple Almonds Coated in Camino Verde by Dahlia and Brian Graham of Fruition Chocolate. Will you focus, maybe? I can get a little bit better. That is just not wanting to focus, is it? Maybe. All right, let me pop that out so you can see it a little better. Just throwing stuff everywhere. Okay. Oh, I did not cut it at a good spot. 
<laughs> They're still sealed in here. Okay, I need to tell you a little bit about Bentley today. He seems to be okay at the moment, but he had what is almost certainly an allergic reaction to something. He just, just dumped him on the chair. He broke out in these just whelps all over. We called the vet and they said to give him Benadryl, which we did about noon. And I've got to give him some more medicine around eight. Those actually look pretty good. Interesting. Mmm, it smells really good. But anyway, he just, he got these bumps, like the size of the end of my thumb, all over. And if you look up hives on a dog, that's what this looks like. And the vet's office said it's probably an allergic reaction, so they weren't real worried. My fear is the vet's office, I caught them 20 minutes before they closed. They normally close at noon on Wednesdays, uh, but they're closing for the holidays. So if he's not better tomorrow, we may have to go to a different vet. I hate to, but maybe. All right, let's see what PK Yarn has today. Goodness, we've had such pretty variegated the last several days. Mother Ginger. How sweet. I don't know if you're able to get a real good look at that. I think the colors are a little cooler than this light is showing. But yeah. Oh, so nice. I am not caught up on this at all. I'm not quite a week behind, I think. Another ginger from PK Yarn. Okay, I will show you where I am in the Madvent shawl. The Fairbank shawl has just kind of been put on hold for now just because I wanted to finish at least one of these, but I'm going to get back to it. I'm actually seriously considering starting yet again, um, possibly holding the yarn double with the main color and using an even larger hook. I think I will actually like the fabric of that better, but otherwise follow the pattern. It was written for DK, I think. So holding two strands of um, fingering weight should get me close. So this is Spanish chocolate. And I finished that this afternoon. It was my family's turn to clean the church. So we drove out there uh, this afternoon and my daughter was driving. My um, Son was sitting next to me. My husband was up front with her, with Janie. And um, so I could just sit in the back and knit. So I finished this section. Uh, can I go backwards? Oh, I don't know if I can or not. Sugar Plum Fairy, Dew Drops, Snowflakes, Snow Queen. I may have this backward. Nutcracker Prince, Mouse King, Mice, Toy Soldier, Dancing Doll, I think is the name. Harlequin and Columbine, Christmas Tree, Drosselmeyer, Party Boys, Party Girls, Fritz, Clara. Do I have them all? Kinda. Look at that. That's such a nice collection. Okay. And the next few, I've had to start numbering them on the tag. So like this one is for yesterday. See, I've written a, can you see it? A 21 on there because I was losing track of which one goes when. So I've got 18, 18, 19, 20, 21. So some pretty pastel variegated there. And we will add this one. It's really pretty seeing them all together like that. Uh, but, okay, this is the one that needs to have a 22 written on it. Y'all don't let me forget. Okay, and I will show you 
Progress on the Christmas sock. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not, but I'm getting there. I'm past the heel. So cuff, past the heel, past the gusset decreases. That was something else I did while we were driving today. And so I'm on the foot. And we'll compare to the other one so you can kind of see how much further. So that's in the cuff. And I am there. So maybe if I get a little bit of time, I just have to finish this straight knitting down to the contrast toe. So maybe I can get it done. Even if I can't get it done to wear Christmas Eve, maybe I can wear on Christmas Day. I have my uh, thick cozy socks, the up next socks from Kino Knits. That's the test knit that I did back in November. And um, those are really thick, so I may wear those just at night. We're, we've actually got some fairly warm days coming up. Um, highs even in the 70s potentially in a few days by Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but we'll see. I think they'd be nice at least at night when I'm lounging around. Uh, okay, I'm like I said, I probably am not going to try to do um, a thing for you know who I can't say the words out loud or he'll get all excited. Um, I just don't want to take a chance that there's something that would trigger another reaction. Don't think it was anything in that because it happened today, um, more than 12 hours after he had had one of his Advent things. Uh, his food has not changed at all. We hadn't even opened a new bag in the last couple of days. So, um, he didn't have anything different in his food. The only time he went out, we didn't even go for a walk today. I was really busy. Um, and I didn't even take him for a long walk, but the couple times that he had been outside, he had been on a leash. So it's not like he ran off into the woods and, and got into something. All we can figure is he walked over something, licked something, something bit him maybe. Um, but there's no obvious marks on him and his behavior is pretty normal. I mean, he's been hungry and playing and drinking water like usual. Um, but you could tell the Benadryl made him a little drowsy this afternoon, but hopefully he'll have a good night. I'll give him some more medicine in about an hour and uh, I'll get you caught up tomorrow. Hopefully he'll be feeling better. All right, everybody. It was good to visit with you and we will chat again soon. Merry Christmas. Thank you.